Hi, welcome to IT Pro Guide YouTube channel. Mohammed Niaz with you. In this video, we're going to start a new series, Microsoft Exchange 2019. When Microsoft released uh, 2016, I made a couple of videos uh, for migration installations and I can see the community has been benefiting from those videos. Uh, so that really inspired me to continue my support to community. So this series will cover the entire configuration, migration, high availability things comes in Exchange 2019. So the scope of this video is to give you a brief overview about Microsoft Exchange 2019. Then we will see how to install Microsoft Exchange 2019. Microsoft Exchange is an email solution as you all know. Microsoft provides two products for emails. One is Business Online. Some people call it as Office 365. And the other one is Exchange Server where you install on-premises. In Office 365, it is Microsoft's responsibility to protect your data, to give high availability, to keep up the performance of the system. And what you do, you just manage and create policies for your organizations. In an on-premises exchange server, it is your responsibility to maintain the security, high availability, performance, in addition to user management and policies. To install Microsoft Exchange 2019, following are the minimum requirements that you need. When you look at the memory, you can see the minimum is recommended as 128 GB RAM. But you can start uh, from below that also, because in this demonstration, I'm going to use 8 GB RAM. So it depends upon how many users and also how much uh, performance you need. If you have more memory, you will get a better performance for Exchange Server. More than the compute spec, when you look at the operating system requirement, you can see it is supported for Windows Server 2019 only. And it is also recommended to use Windows Server 2019 Core Edition. In this demonstration, we will be using a desktop experience, but we will have a session for Core Edition. But the hint is, maybe in future, Microsoft give more priority or more importance for Core Edition for Exchange Server 2019 than the desktop experience. For this demonstration, I prepared an Active Directory in Windows Server 2019 and also I prepared another Windows Server 2019 to install Exchange Server for this demonstration. So an Active Directory is mandatory. Active Directory works very closely with Exchange Server. For installing Exchange Server 2019, we need to download some setup from Microsoft uh, websites and also we will be using some PowerShell commands to install the features of uh, Windows uh, Server that is required for Exchange Server 2019. All the commands and links uh, to download this setup, you will find it in the description of the video in the same order. So that would be easy for you to practice and install Exchange Server 2019 in your environment. So let us start installing Exchange Server 2019. So I'm here in my Windows Server 2019, which I have prepared for Exchange Server. The first thing I'm going to do is to configure a static IP address for my Exchange Server. So let's do that. Here my IP address is 192.168.1.210. Enter your Active Directory Domain Controller IP address. And if you have a secondary Active Directory, then enter the secondary Active Directory IP address in the alternate DNS server. Once you complete the static IP configuration, the next step is to join this server into our domain controller. For that, right click from this PC, then go to change settings, then click change. Then here you can change the computer name, something which is meaningful to Exchange Server and enter the domain address. Enter your credentials, then click OK. Now this server has joined to the domain. To make it effective, you need to restart this computer. So let's do that. After the restart, log in with domain administrative credentials. There are some prerequisites that we need to install before installing Exchange Server. For that, open Windows PowerShell, then run the following command. 
all the commands links and uh, scripts that we're going to use during the installation of exchange is available below the description so you can just copy and paste to your computer Once we complete the PowerShell command, the second thing is to install Visual C++ package that you can download from Microsoft website. The link is provided as the second one in the description. Once you complete the download, run it from downloads and install it. Next, we need to download Unified Communications Managed API. You can just click on the link and download this. Once you complete the download, install it. Next, we're going to install some of the Windows features that is required for Microsoft Exchange 2019. You can copy paste from the description of the video. Once you paste it in the PowerShell, just enter it. When you install Exchange Server 2019, some changes are made to Active Directory Forest and Domains to store information about the Exchange Server, mailboxes, and other exchange related objects in your organization. So there are three steps required to prepare an Active Directory for Exchange. Extend the Active Directory schema, then prepare Active Directory containers, objects and other items. Then prepare Active Directory domains. So you can see there are some steps I'm going to run. These are the following steps required to prepare an Active Directory for Exchange. To prepare Active Directory for Exchange Server, first you want to mount Exchange Server ISO to the Windows Server that you prepared to install Exchange Server. Because in the command you will see, now we are switching to the D drive because the Exchange Server is mounted in the D drive. And in the command you can see we call .setup.exe because the setup file is inside the Exchange Server ISO. So first you need to mount, then you can run the command. So here we run the command for preparing schema. The organization name here you can replace with your organization name. Once you complete the installation, you can verify the schema extension from ADSI edit. You will see two new entries for Microsoft Exchange security groups and system objects. Now all the prerequisites are completed. Now you can run the setup from the ISO. For that, just double click on the setup file then follow the wizard select mailbox role and you will see when you select mailbox role automatically select the management tools you can click automatically install windows server roles and features that are required to install exchange server then it is not recommended to install in the C drive for the demonstration. I'm just uh, putting it in C drive, but it is always recommended to go for a D drive or uh, another drive which is dedicated for exchange. 
here you can disable it if you have any other setup for protecting your emails from spam and malware Now the installation of Exchange has completed. Let us open Exchange Administration Console. We can see Exchange Administrative Center. As there is no SSL certificate, for the first time it will show you a warning. Enter the administrative credentials domain slash administrator then the password now the installation of exchange has completed now you can send email between the users in this exchange server but there are many things to configure to send email to external users for example send connector thanks for watching this video in the next video we will continue to configure send connector for exchange server 2019 subscribe my youtube channel for more videos